Okay, so we're going to do a pod review on this pepper right here, reluctantly, and I'm not really looking forward to doing this, but we're here. I need to get some pods off of this thing, and so let's give it a go. And this right here is the Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea, and this pepper is an absolute nasty one. I really don't even like eating these things. I hate cleaning the seeds on these things, you know, cleaning to get the seeds. But sometimes it's a must do. Now this plant is absolutely loaded with pods this year. We got a ton and ton and ton of peppers. There's got to be at least 30 of them on here. Nice size this year. And I'm not sure if they got tails on them. We'll pick one of these or a couple of them we'll pick. Really don't want to give the pods up this year. Yeah, we've got some slight tails on them. Now this is a very nasty one. This is not one that's fun to eat at all, so I don't know why people like to watch other people eat these things and get sick, but they're not usually fun to eat these things. They're like the brain strains. <clears throat> brain strains are extremely hot. This is gorgeous. So look at these peppers this year. Man, they're really nice. We got some real nice phenos on here. Very, very nice. Another one. Got to get these off before the bugs start chewing holes in them. Nice phenos on these peppers this year. Really, really nice. No tails, though. I thought it would have, maybe have tails. There's a slight tail on it. You got some slight tails. I'm trying to look for a small one, to be honest with you. you. Get a small one here because I don't want to bite one of the big ones. It just doesn't want to let go of these pods. I got to really yank them hard. See, there's a slight tail on it. Let's pick one of these small ones here, you know. There's one with a tail. It's loaded with pods. Let's take this little one. Let's pick this one. Got to just about break the whole stem just to get these pods off of there. Don't want to give them up, I'm telling you. When you're shooting video, you got to do everything one-handed. So if they don't come off with one hand, I'm not going to shut the camera off and get a scissor to cut it and all that. I just do all of that first before I even open the camera, right? But here we go. We got a handful of them anyway. And I'll pick the rest of those off of there because I'm getting ready to dig a lot of these plants up. And I'm going to bring them in the garage and let them ripen up the fruits in the garage once the frost coming in frost is going to be here probably in the next two weeks Doing all of these plants are roughly going to take me probably a week to dig each one of them up And I got to wrap them into a root ball and then I got to bring them to the top of my driveway and everything a lot of work here It's going to take me at least a week to move these sturdy plants. So Let's bring you inside. So we got some nice ones here the butch tea guys this is not one to play around with. I don't even eat these things raw. I do eat these. These are not... A lot of people misunderstand these peppers. They think, oh my God, they're, they're up there with the reapers and you're going to eat that. And it, They're not that bad when you eat them with the right kinds of food. If you eat this thing with fatty meats, meats that are really fatty and a lot of cheese on them, you're going to get a nice burn off it, but you're generally not going to get that that stomach cramp when you eat them they, when you eat these raw that's when they really hit your system very very hard a lot of these guys who do pod reviews they'll suck down a half a quart of cream before they even think about eating these that way when that pepper hits that cream in their stomach it absorbs into the cream and it's not just burning a hole in the lining of your stomach so that's one of the ways that a lot of guys will eat these peppers but here it is that's the Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea 2019, guys. Look at the beautiful pepper that is. Look at the big hump back on that thing. It looks like it's got a big nose. Almost looks like a face. <laughs> All right, let's turn you around and uh, bring one of these small ones out. We'll give this one a go. Turn you around, we'll give that small one a go. All right, guys, here we are. We're doing another pod review today, and today it's going to be on the Butch Tea, the Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea. This pepper is not one that I enjoy very much eating in this fashion, raw. 
cooking it, chopping it up, putting it on cheesesteak, putting it in home fries or side, side dishes with your steaks and really getting that burn that way. You can take it on a lot slower, a lot easier, but yes, if you were to cut up two or three of these and put them on a cheesesteak sub, yeah, I probably would pick that up. That, that would be a little bit too much. I usually don't go any more than two Carolina Reapers on a full-size 12-inch cheesesteak sub. That's primarily how I eat a lot of my peppers. I got a guy, local guy up here, makes cheesesteaks for me. He makes them out of real steak. Man, these cheesesteaks are good. I, they're worth eating on a regular basis this time of year when I'm growing my super hots. In fact, I used to give him the super hots for me, and I used to tell him to chop them up and then put them in because he puts his own peppers and onions in there, and he would chop these up and throw them into that side thing as he's making it. Yeah, he stopped doing that because he said it heats up his grill, and people, the other people's foods are getting hot from it. So he don't do that no more. He doesn't. He doesn't chop them up and heat them up with me. So I just chop them up myself and I put them on the top. I just sprinkle them on the top of the uh, cheesesteak and I eat it that way. And I go so far and then I'll stop if I start to feel like, if I get too much of an adrenaline response and I stop because I don't want to, I don't want to overdo it either. I want to eat my meal. I don't want to be like, dude, I'm strung out and I capsaicin, dude. You know, I'm just not into that, dude. I grow these because I like the flavor of them. I don't grow them because I want to be strung out on capsaicin high, you know. So anyway, here it is. And uh, let's give that a bite. It's, it's very nice. It's slow heat. It's going to come in. It's going to come in very strong. It's very slow builder. You're able to swallow this one easy. You can chew this up and swallow it. It's a Soul Builder. It has a very nice scorpion flavor. It tastes just like a regular Trinidad scorpion. And it's very smooth. It's got that nice rubbery type effect on the skin. I'm actually starting to feel a sting right now. In my throat, I'm feeling it. Not on my mouth so much, but in my throat. Like It feels like, there's, like somebody stuck a knife in my throat. That's hot, man. But... It's coming in. You gotta get. You gotta work with me here because sometimes these hot ones, as they come in, I start to lose my my. Uh, the fl let me get the flavor out of the way because once this heat comes in, that's it. It's over. The um, the 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 flavor was a nice scorpion flavor. It had that scorpion flavor is similar to like a habanero type fruitiness, but it's got its own scorpion flavor. I gotta spit. I gotta do that because I'm talking on camera and I can't I can't swallow. I gotta spit. And it's got that flavor. It has a slight sweetness to it. And it's got a very, very nice overall aftertaste to it. It's a very, very nice pepper to eat. The heat is coming in. And it's coming in like a mule right now. And it's hitting me really, really hard right now. Ooh. That hurts, man. The entire tongue all the way around the edge a little bit underneath because for some reason my saliva is going under my tongue it's burning <coughs> under the tongue <coughs> it's causing me to cough the coughing is because when capsaicin gets wet it produces a gas and when you breathe that gas in it's like breathing in pepper spray so a lot of times they call it, they refer to that effect as dragon's breath and that's what I'm getting. I guess I'm. you would want to say I'm getting dragon's breath from it. It's my, my lips are on fire. My whole top of my tongue is burning. The back of my throat is pounding right now. The whole edge of my tongue, the round whole edge underneath the tongue a little bit, and the top of it, it's just the tongue is annihilated. Full circle on the tongue, guys. It's not that bad, though, I'll be honest with you. Compared to that thing that I ate the other day, this thing here, after having eaten that thing, right there, that is the Hellfire Chili. After eating that, eating scorpions is like nothing now. It is, I feel the heat, it is pounding, it is doing its thing, but it's, I, I'm not even getting a, an adrenaline response from this. This is a butch tea. This is a butch tea and I'm not even getting an adrenaline response. I should be getting something like that. Not not that bad. It's hot. 
it is burning me, but it's not, it's not firing up those synapses in my brain. It's just, after, after doing a really, really hot pepper like the Hellfire Chili, these other peppers are, they're hot, but they're not, they're not an experience like that. Not the same level of heat, by far. Though, I will say that the heat up and down the tongue and around the mouth is just excruciating right now. Very unpleasant, should I say. But the pain in the back of the throat is that throbbing feeling that feels so good, man. That, that part I like. It's just the warmth in it going down the esophagus and that little bit of, um, I'm about to belch. Just that little bit in the stomach and down the esophagus, that part I don't really care for. But the burn in the mouth is pretty good. It's it's very stingy. It's a very stinging type of burn, this thing. It's, it's very striking and stinging. And it's just, it's an aggressive. Wow, that's aggressive, man. That thing's very aggressive. It's a, it's a very, it's a very tingly type aggressive stinging like that. It's just constant. It doesn't go away. Oh, God. I don't want to do that again. I don't want to review no more of these hot peppers like that because they they just really do a number on me. So you guys don't understand this, but you know, you're younger than me. I'm in my 50s. I'm eating these peppers. Or my body's more sensitive to things like this now. Years ago in my 20s, I was doing it. I do this stuff like it was easy. Back in back in the early 2000s and you know, 90s, i do this no problem. I used to eat habaneros that way. And those were really considered hot peppers. It didn't bother me. These, nowadays, my digestive tract is very sensitive the way it is. It does a number on me. Trust me. I really pay for the price for some of these reviews. That If I was to eat the whole pepper, I wouldn't be able to do these reviews at all. The idea of my reviews is to generally give you a sense of the flavor, an idea of the way the heat affects your mouth, and that's really all I can do. You want to watch people eat these things and puke them up and all that, that's, this isn't a channel for it. You know, I'm trying to sell you the seeds for it and encourage you to grow these and experiment with them yourself. And if you eat them very carefully, you can enjoy these peppers very much. Like I told you, I cook with these peppers. I don't have a problem in the GI tract. And I'm not talking about, oh, you're going to go hot poop. We're not talking about hot poop. That's nothing. We're talking about irritating my entire intestinal lining all the way until that completely is out of my system. You don't understand the feeling of that, okay? It's really very uncomfortable. I have to be very careful how I eat these peppers because of that reason. And when I eat them with food, like fatty foods and milks and cheeses, and it, I don't really, it dampens the effect to the point where I don't really suffer from it. So eating peppers like the butch tea, it's not that bad when you, when you prepare your like, GI tract for the, for, to receive it and let it go out. It's actually enjoyable. I enjoy the burn to the throat. I just don't enjoy the, from the throat down, I don't enjoy, <laughs> okay? From that part, right under the Adam's apple, from there down is not fun for me. So other than that, everything else is golden. But this is a very hot one. Very, very hot. Now the brain strain, in my opinion, the brain strains that I grow, they're much hotter. Those are hotter than these. These are hot, but they're not as bad as the brain. The brain strains are very painful. I don't even like biting into those things like that raw. But that's it. That's your, your pod review for the Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea. Very nice pepper, guys. I will offer seeds to this at the end of the year. In fact, what am I saying? I already have seeds on my website. But you'll have fresh seeds from these pods on there for you where you can uh, buy my seeds over there. You'll have 219, 2019 seeds probably by uh, probably by November sometime in there is when I usually go into my website and I start changing my inventory around and stuff like that. So you, all the new seeds you buy now will be coming from this. So within the next few weeks, all the seed you're going to be buying is going to be from this year. All right, so that's it. That's your pod review for the Butch Tea. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Thank you.